Okay, hi everybody. Um, first and foremost, <laughs> I know everybody wanted the new C2s, that video, but I know everybody want to see this. Redesign International IC bus, so we're gonna do this one first. Real quick, I'm almost out of space. So it's a 2025, the model demo buses have been released in July. So nobody actually has one of these running around, except for the authorized dealers of Weiss, mm, except for the <laughs> authorized dealer of International Bus in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So to start off, we have the redesigned grill. Um, this one didn't come specced um, black. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure that the uh, state requires the grill to be black. Thomas changed theirs. Bluebirds changed this, but it's not a part of our spec. So there's something new to wait on to see if they are going to change it. It comes in chrome. National school bus yellow. So I'm trying to keep the focus. What if I do this? <laughs> Hold on. Chrome National School Bus Yellow and black with the chrome edges. I'm not, but it's a spec, so I'm pretty sure you can get that painted black too. You're gonna notice the new LED headlights. Um, I'm not a fan, those are ugly. The whole bus is ugly, but anyways. <laughs> then you're gonna notice the crossing gate is new and it's kind of bent like the C2 to match the frame of the grill or the body outline of the grill. Next, you're gonna notice the bubbled um frog eyed windshield <laughs> um it's it's i don't know it's just it's, it's something i guess it's something i don't like nothing about this i don't even like internationals that like that but i definitely don't like this it's ugly. um you're gonna notice this Fuck no. first safety light school bus sign illuminated school bus sign is a part of our spec um, and they'll bring this around to all the counties who wanted to test drive it or whatever. But um, yeah, so let's get let's go around. I'm trying to make this quick. I don't know if these are standard. Um, I'm not sure if they're offering the full size cross views or not. But for right now, those are on the bus. Same engine. This is a diesel. Same engine. Horsepower um, rating. We have the electric school bus sign. Same. I mean, it's really this. It's, it's really just a regular. It's the same thing. There's nothing new about the bus but the front. Like, <laughs> you got the reverse lights, the tires, <laughs> obviously the, oh, they did change the pit stop marker lights this year. Um, so yeah, by default, like Thomas did in Bluebird. You're gonna notice that the back is still literally the same. Try not to get caught up too much. I don't wanna step in the, or get bit by a snake or a heel. So you're gonna notice that the back is still the same. We have the I stop on red and that cross, uh, no turn on red and I stop at train tracks. You got the LEDs all around. It's literally the same. Like, I can't stress it. It's literally the same thing. You're going to notice that those black clear, mm, those back, I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. Those back clearance lights that be by, let's see, there are now pinched out. You're going to notice that. Um, you're going to notice it's the same thing. It's the same thing. There's nothing new about this bus. Um, diesel, the whole nine, you know. After this bus gets through going around Demo Circle, <laughs> they're going to put it for sale and someone's going to be able to buy it like the year after next. They're not required to have a certain amount of mileage on the buses. They just have to be quote unquote new. So this could actually be somebody replacement seat, C not C2. You got the Def. The, they now come with the Diesel Series and Green Badge. You'll notice the door. You cannot just open this door. You have to release, turn the release handle, and it pops that side open. <laughs> you lift this door leaf open, and this one will not. You have to turn it again, and I'm gonna take my foot with it and drag it open. They all got these little latches. I'm pretty sure this door is air powered, or it probably won't. Probably not. I don't know. I just got on here. No, it's electric. The door is electric. It doesn't have to be, but this one is. You'll see that this bus was manufactured on 10-16-23. Tusk, Oklahoma, body 5010. No, that's not what it is. Uh, where did they move that? It used to be right here. Anyway, we have the 72 passenger, five extinguisher, all that stuff. What y'all really want to see this shit. I don't know why. I like, now I like this, the one piece floor in the front. I like that. That makes it easier to clean. I'm gonna have the, the master flashes and everything. 
the rear heat to air, the door. This is the new door switch. It's three position. But I don't, where's the release button at? Um, but yeah, you're gonna, it's like the new international box truck. It is, that's exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, the buses are built off those chassis anyway. So, but yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. I couldn't find my international key, y'all. I'm sorry. I literally could not find my international key. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Um, which is crazy because I deliver school buses now, so I probably wouldn't need to find that. Um, but we got the exhaust brake, the dome lights, which don't come on, the batteries are off. Um, drain valves. Instead of saying primary, secondary, and wet tank is drain valves. I guess you can drain them all at once, at once, or that's secondary. I don't know. This must be the wet tank. But if you could drain it all at once, that'd be great first second which one is the wet that's different guess you have to wait and see the air controls remember when you get these new buses when you turn this on you do have to press this button to get the actual ac going for the driver that's what that is for um you got the electric parking brake um your lane uh assist lane keep assist which is what that is right there so it reads the lines on the road once you go out um, it might, um, not, I know the seat tubes will kind of break for you and vibrate the seat. Not really sure what this one does. We have the trash can. More vents. And really, yeah, I mean, this is really it, y'all. I mean, it's the same thing. It feels like it's water, though. You know, my big back ass can ride down. I shouldn't be cussing for YouTube. Sorry, this is how I talk. My big back self can walk down through here and not bump the seats. <laughs> uh, here go the reset button. And it's kind of, let me see, see how I can get a better angle, how it's built. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 I mean, I don't know why everybody wanted to see this up. It's literally the same thing. <laughs> now, I do like how big the front is, though. It's a lot more space up here for a big bag. <clears throat> you know how some of y'all like to be. But <laughs> let me stop. But um, yeah, thank y'all for watching. And that is that. There's a collision mitigation system on the front radar. But other than that, that is it. Um, what the hell did I just say? There's a collision mitigation system and radar on the front. I said that all wrong. And I'm not editing this video either, so y'all gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> but all right. Close, close them back. One leaf at a time. <laughs> this must, they must be built like this. But this is, this is electric door. I don't know if they all require electric now. I don't know. We yeah, have this. This is this is just too much. I don't know. I feel like they just. Do hey too guys, much one thing it. I did leave out. Um, but I that. drive trucks now, so I'm used to this. So I didn't really think about it. But yeah, now I um had to edit the video just to put this in there. All right, there you go. There is not an actual gear shifting stick or you know gear shifting column that you would normally use on the bus. So the gear shifter is now integrated within the steering wheel. So it's on the side. Here I'll zoom in for you okay here's a new shifter so what you would do is it's not like the traditional one this is the one the 18 wheelers have so what you would do is you would you know twist it to the front of the bus for drive in the middle of the neutral and back to reverse um obviously for manual mode you would have to push it in and then to if you're not in manual mode but you just want to upshift to the downshift that you just push it back or pull it towards you kind of like your windshield wiper fluid but yeah that's the best all that's different and then this, these little arrows you see with the on towards look up under the vent there you go <laughs> you see the, like the little knob and the arrow that is to operate the digital gauges and the dash cluster so like if you wanted to change the screen it's so it's like the speed and and different things um so that's what that's for well other than that that's the same thing and then on the steering wheel hold on one second Okay, on the steering wheel, you see this right in your right-hand corner. <clears throat> Sorry, your left-hand corner. On the steering wheel, you see those little buttons. Those are for the cruise control. What you have to do is, on the internationals, you do, because I'm driving one at this moment, actually, you actually have to press the on, set, and res, and to cancel, so you, so you have to do that every time. So on, set, and res. But, yeah, I probably won't be using that anyway, so, but just so you know. <laughs> 